and welcome back. So today's video is going to be my first ever Valentine's Day gift guide video. Now I do these at Christmas and I thought it would be nice to see what you guys think and do on Valentine's Day. Let me know if you like it or not in the comment section below. I've got my top 10 gifts for her for Valentine's Day. Some of them are unisex as well but a lot of them are quite girly. So starting off with the more traditional side of Valentine's Day and I'm going to show you my choice of chocolates. I do not like getting a massive box of chocolates on Valentine's Day because I have absolutely no willpower and will eat all of them myself um, and it's not very good for the waistline. But what I do love are smaller, more special chocolates. So my favourite brand of chocolate for Valentine's Day especially is Rococo. I love some of the really funny original stuff that they do but these are my two favourite things that they've released for Valentine's Day. The first one are these chocolate foil wrapped hearts. You get three in a box. They're really pricey like for what they are but they still are a kind of small gift. So these are $7.95 for three really, really delicious chocolate and they just look so gorgeous. And then the other thing, these are so ridiculously expensive but they are so beautiful, are these hearts. And they have a bee, a heart, they've got polka dots and a flower on them. These are $12.95 for four chocolates, it's crazy. But I would rather get, like I said before, small and perfectly formed as opposed to a massive box of chocolates that I'm going to scoff all myself. So they're my favourite kind of chocolate pick for Valentine's Day. When it comes to flowers, I personally don't really like flowers, but I think you can't go wrong with anything from the Jo Malone Red Roses collection. This is one of the Red Roses candles. You can actually get these engraved, which is an additional fee, but it's so gorgeous because they actually engrave the top of the candle. And I just think they're really beautiful and it smells lovely and it lasts a lot longer than real roses. And for Valentine's Day as well this year, Jo Malone are decorating their bags like this. How cool is that? So you can get a special kind of customised Valentine's Day bag. So I think that's super cute and would make a very, very nice Valentine's Day gift. Mike's bought me a few things on Valentine's Day from Jo Malone in the past. And I just think you can't really go wrong with Jo Malone at Valentine's Day. For the beauty obsessed, um, there are a couple of Valentine's Day beauty gifts that I think are really cute and I personally would love to receive. The first one are these tweezers from Shavata and they come in this velvet pouch. They are heart-shaped tweezers. And these are £25, they're quite um, high quality tweezers, but I think for anyone that's obsessed with brows or beauty in general, these would be such a cute little gift and yeah, they come in their own little carry case and I think that's super cute. Something that I've been using a lot recently and I think would make an amazing Valentine's Day gift as well is the Foreo Luna Mini 2. These have been around for a while but they've just launched the second kind of generation of them and this is the mini version in bright pink. They're quite pricey, they're around £100 but they are amazing. I personally prefer these to a Clarisonic. I'm going to do more of a review more of a review either on my blog or um, in a video soon. Let me know if you if you guys would like to see a video review of this. They're basically a sonic brush cleanser for your skin and I personally prefer it to Clarisonic because you don't have to change the brush head and you only have to charge it like once every five months which is so so much better than the Clarisonic which you have to charge all the time. I do really like the Clarisonic but I think this is a little bit more practical and it looks super cute as well. It's not a very like romantic gift but if someone is into their skincare this would go down very well on Valentine's Day believe me. Another thing that I think is a really cute token gift is this tea from Clipper. Clipper are one of my favourite brands of tea and they've launched this Love Me Truly chai for Valentine's Day. It comes in the cutest box. It's only a few pounds if you're buying like a token gift for your friend or for your girlfriend you don't really want to go all out this Valentine's Day. I think this is a really cute gift if they like tea. It's also really tasty. I can actually smell it through the box. Chai is one of my personal favourites um, and you get 20 um, individual bags in here so I'm a big fan of that. I think it's such a cute design as well. So there's actually a book that I got recently that I think would make a really lovely Valentine's Day gift and this is the Follow Me Too book. If you haven't heard of the Follow Me Too couple who are actually called Murad and Natalie, um, I actually met them when I was in Vegas last year and they were really really lovely and I hadn't really checked out m much of their stuff before that but it's so incredible. He's a photographer and he basically takes pictures of his girlfriend leading him to all sorts of destinations around the world. So it's a really interesting book if you're into traveling but also it's just really romantic as well. Um, and they're actually, I think they're bringing out a second book this year, which I'm definitely going to get. You can get this on Amazon. I think I got mine for about £12. And it's just a really beautiful coffee table book. Again, not a hugely expensive gift, but a really nice one. I think it would be perfect for Valentine's Day. So moving on to the slightly more expensive end of things, I have a couple of fashion gifts to show you. The first one is this gorgeous faux fur scarf. This is from Helen Moore, who makes really really beautiful faux fur. I've actually spoken about a couple of videos ago how I'm kind of on the fence with faux fur a lot of the time. I only like 
certain faux fur like I'm quite picky um, about the finish of it and how it looks and feels this is honestly like the softest most kind of luxurious lovely faux fur ever and she makes these beautiful stoles they are quite expensive they're around a hundred pounds 120 pounds but they are so cozy and I love the fact it's just started to get cold in England as well so I feel like it's perfect time Valentine's Day and she does lots of kind of um, quite romantic colors as well I really like this one because it's got the ends are pink and she also does some kind of like magenta and purple ones I just think that would make such a nice cozy gift for Valentine's Day there's also a dress that I spotted in Topshop this week that I think would make the cutest Valentine's Day gift ever it looks like this it's like a retro shirt dress and I just love the detail on it it's got heart shaped like lollipops on it and it has like this kind of detailing all the way down um, the front and then it's got the little black piping around the sleeves it almost looks a little like uniform like but it's just so cute i think this would make such a sweet gift for valentine's day especially if you're into that kind of retro kind of slightly vintagey looking vibe and it's 48 pounds from topshop so the next gift i actually have in another color and when i saw this color i thought it was just the most perfect valentine's day gift it's a dressing gown and this is from the ted baker for debenhams range i don't know if you guys saw my haul video a while ago but i picked up one of these in grey and it is the softest thing I've ever felt in my entire life. Yes, I've seen the other fluffy dressing gowns that are like this, that are really soft and nice. This is just the most amazing, amazing feeling thing in the whole world. And they have this beautiful kind of maroon. It's actually not showing up as nice on camera. It's slightly more pinky um, in real life. It's just the most beautiful color and it has this like satin tie around the waist and these are 55 pounds. You can get the shorter ones that are 50 pounds but personally I like the long ones because they're just really cozy and glamorous. I would love to get one of these for Valentine's Day. I already have one but I could have like 50 because they're so cozy. And then last but certainly not least for Valentine's Day gifts I have chosen something from Aspinall of London which is one of my favourite brands when it comes to gifting because they personalise a lot of their stuff and they package everything so nicely like this is the box for what I'm going to show you and it's just I just think it's really nice and it's not expensive in comparison to a lot of the other kind of designer leather goods that you can buy so what I have picked out for Valentine's Day is this travel set so this actually comes with a travel wallet, a passport cover, and then a small and a large luggage tag in red, because it's Valentine's Day, and then you can get it personalised with initials on um, each item. If you open it up, and the travel wallet has like little dividers and a zip pouch, I just think it's really lovely, especially if you are buying for somebody who likes to travel, or you're taking somebody away on a mini break and you're splashing a serious amount of cash, this would be a perfect one. They're just a really lovely gift and yeah, again, they're not kind of hundreds and hundreds of pounds and it still looks like you're giving them a really kind of luxurious gift. So that is it for my Valentine's Day gift guide. Um, I hope you have a lovely Valentine's Day no matter what you're doing, if you are spending it with loved ones or friends or whatever. I hope you have an awesome time and I hope this has given use some ideas of what you might want for Valentine's Day or what you might want to buy your girlfriend for Valentine's Day or just what you might want in general because a lot of it is awesome regardless of whether it's Valentine's Day or not and I'll see you again soon bye guys Hey guys, so it's the end of another month, which means it's January favourites time. I've got lots of things to show you this month, so I'm going to jump right in. First of all, starting with base products, I've discovered a new primer this month, which is from Rimmel. And it's in very unassuming packaging. 